cell phones. Yeah, I see you there in the back. Let's turn them off. In the event of an emergency, it is my duty to point out to you the exit at the front, side, and rear of the auditorium. When I say what team, you say Wildcats. Ready? What team? got transferred. Again. Welcome. Moving can be such a drag. Did you at least do something fun over the break? Oh, um, you know, my mom took me on a ski trip. All I did was read. Excellent. Another bookworm. <laughs> With all those cute boys on the slopes. <laughs> Why do you think Prada makes all that fabulous opera ski wear? <laughs> Loser. <laughs> well, um, actually, I did meet a boy. So make with the new slash sister, I am all ears. It was the best trip. The slopes were perfect, and I met the hottest little snow bunny ever. How'd you meet him? Snowboarding? Singing. He was pretty good, too. Dude, she was so hot, she turned the slopes to slush. Yeah, so did Troy. Singing. They threw a contest for the kids. It was kind of romantic, you know? Alright, you crazy kids, I want to know all of you. Can you say karaoke? Karaoke! Hi, I'm Troy. I can't sing. Gabriella, me either. They're all looking at us. I will if you will. Living in my own world. Didn't understand That anything can happen When you take the chance I never believed in What I couldn't see I never opened my heart To all the possibilities Oh, I know that something has changed Never felt this way And back here tonight This could be the start of something new It feels so right to be here with you Oh, and now looking in your eyes I feel it my 
It is a delicious neo-feminist adaptation of Shakespeare's classic tragedy of star-crossed lovers with three, count of three, tap numbers. By thinking outside the box, Kelsey has brilliantly swapped out a tragic ending with a happy ending in which the lovers both live and move to Albuquerque. It is simply bursting with sword fights, meddling parents and teenagers caught in the grip of forbidden love. If you kids can't relate to that, I'll eat my dog. <laughs> now, this year, as always, there will be singles auditions for supporting roles and chorus, as well as pairs auditions for our two leads. <laughs> Mr. Danforth, this is a place of learning, not a football court. Save your bilabial fricatives for someone of your own primitive aesthetic. Now this year, as always, the drama club faces a dearth of male participants. So please do come in and audition. I'm offering you the chance to spread your wings into bold new horizons. I'm offering you the timeless allure of the grease paint, the magic of the clear light. All right, I'm offering you extra credit. Ah, the dreaded cell phone symphony returns to our crucible of learning. Sharpay and Ryan Evans, your phones, please. And I will see you in detention. We have zero tolerance for cell phones during class. So we'll get to know each other better in detention. And welcome to East High, Miss Montez Troy Bolton. I see your phone is involved. Splendid. Then we'll see you in detention as well. That's not even a possibility, uh, Miss Darvis. Your, your Honor, S -s -s sir, well, we can join our basketball practice after school. That's what he meant for you too, Mr. Danforth. Count him. That could be tough for Chad since he probably can't count that high. Taylor McKissie, 35 minutes. But I've never had detention in my life. Well then, Happy New Year! This ain't my first time at the rodeo, kiddies. Shall the carnage continue? Ah, take by the bell. You may collect your phones after detention. Have a wonderful day. shared his pancakes all over the third floor corridor. We're talking major spewage here, folks, so watch out, folks. Well, folks, this just in. Please remember to sign up for the school musical, Julia and Romeo by <gasps> Red Hot Composer Babe Kelsey Nielsen. Uh, this is Jack Scott, the Velvet Fox. Believe it. Me. Either, but how? We just moved here to Albuquerque. I can't believe you live here, too. I mean, I looked for you at the lodge on New Year's Day, but... Yeah, we gotta leave first thing. Why are you whispering? Oh, well, um, I told my friends about the, the snowboarding, but, um, the whole singing thing. Too much for them to handle? No, no, it was cool, but, you know, my friends, that's, um, that's not what I do. I was, like, a completely different person. Pretty crazy, right? Meeting up again like this? I was gonna call you. Like a bunch of times. And? Uh, you know, I was, um, I You chickened that. out. Kind of. Cool. Hey, um, now they've got Darvis arranged. I bet you can't wait to sign up for the show. Oh, no. I won't be signing up for anything here for a while. I just want to get to know the school. But if you signed up, I'd consider coming to the show. That's completely impossible. <laughs> I wouldn't think the word impossible is even in your vocabulary, Troy. So nice of you to show a new classmate around. Troy is such a sweetheart, isn't he? He's the star of the basketball team, just like I'm the star of the drama club. We're perfect for each other, don't you think? Are we having lunch together, Troy? <laughs> oh, look. The sign-ups for the musical. Well, I'm so 
so sure we can find something for you. The um, ugly old nurse is lots of fun. <laughs> oh no, I was just looking over the bulletin board. What's going on at the school? Wow, nice penmanship. So, I missed you over vacation, Troy. What did you do? Uh, played basketball, snowboarding, more basketball. I gotta go, practice. <laughs> You're so dedicated. Just like me. I hope you'll come watch me in the musical. Promise? Maybe it's my hair. <laughs> Keep your head, don't forget. 
And show it, boy, show it, you can't do that I got get, get my head in the game You gotta catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it Come on, get, get my head in the game You gotta catch it, 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 catch it Get my head in the game. You gotta catch, 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 catch your head in the game. I gotta get my, get my, get my head in the game. You gotta catch, 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 catch your head in the game. Oh, get your head in the game. 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 Come on, get, get my head in the game. You gotta catch, 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 catch your head in the game. Come on, get. Get my head in the game. You gotta get your bitch, 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 Wait, 
wait, wait, wait. Ryan, are you sure you want to be an ostrich? <laughs> totally. Ryan. It's okay. Ostriches are cool, I guess. Poor shark, hey, maybe. But what about you? Me? Yes. Unless you're satisfied living in the shadow of your sister's ostrich. here before I think about joining any clubs. Oh, but what a perfect way to get caught up uh, meeting with the smartest kids in school. What a generous offer, Taylor. You've never ever won the science of half off before. You could be our answer to prayer. Well, okay. I guess I can do it. Yeah, if. <clears throat> okay, so like, quick pro quo. What do you know about Troy Bolton? Troy? I wouldn't consider myself an expert on that particular subspecies. Unless he's been cheerleader, as in, isn't Troy just the hobby super bomb? <laughs> I guess I don't speak cheerleader. Which is why he exists in an alternative universe to Troy the basketball boy. Have you tried to get to know him? He has his click, I have mine. Watch out, works in the cafeteria when you have lunch with us. You'll see. So you don't think being in the school musical could be fun, like, even a little? You're a hoop student, not a musical singer person. I wasn't talking about me, no way. Yeah. Good, because you can't expect the rest of us to be focused on the game if you're off somewhere singing in leotards. No one said anything about leotards. Maybe not, my friend, but just wait. Lovely work, all of you. Jamie. I had no idea an earthworm could have such depth, such pain. Now, if you will all gather round in a circle for our last little exposure to the magic that is theater. This is called a ball of noise. The idea is to pass around an invisible ball while making some kind of sound to go with it. Once passed to the next person, the ball can land on any part of the body. You are limited only by your own imagination. I'll start. Collect 
Chad and Troy are my two star players. You can't have them acting like idiots when they should be at practice. They were not acting like idiots. They were acting like actors. If Chad and Troy were theater performers instead of athletes, would you see such preferential treatment for them? I think not. Darbus, we're days away from the biggest game of the year. And we are in the midst of auditions for our winter musicale. This school is about more than sweaty young men in baggy shorts shooting balls for buckets. Baskets! The West High Nights have knocked us, knocked us out of playoff for three years! Yes, and despite your consistent track record of defeat, the school board still sees fit to allocate ten times the amount of money for school athletics than it does for the arts program. Win or lose, it doesn't matter. I'm trying to teach these because about having a goal, about teamwork, something they can use as adults. It is precisely what I am trying to instill in them. How about making this group at the top of their lungs? <gasps>
truly have. And now, for the lead roles of Juliet and Romeo, we have only one pair signed up. Is that right? Well, Ryan, Sharpay, show us your stuff. Uh, what key? Uh, hey, thanks. But we had a rehearsal pianist do an arrangement. Support, you're auditioning, right? No. Your friends don't know you're here, do they? Right. You're not afraid, are you? Hey, I'm the one that suits all the attention, remember? I think you're the one who's afraid, not me. I am not afraid. R2. And not. R2. And not. R2. And not, R2. And not. Okay, fine, prove it. Get up there and show them what you can do. Don't be afraid, I'll be right here. I was kidding. <laughs> I'd like to audition, Miss Darvis. 
I'm so sorry, my dear, but timing means everything in the world of theater. But I, I'm afraid individual auditions are long over, and, well, there's no one to sing with you for the lead parts. Miss Darbus? Oh, boy. Um, I mean, I'll sing with her. Troy Bolton? But where's your sports party or whatever it's called? Team! But actually, I'm here alone. I'm actually here to sing with her. Yes, well, I treat these auditions just as seriously as your father treats his basketball rehearsals. I called for Juliet and Romeo auditions and you didn't respond. I'm very sorry, but now we've simply run out of time. You're out of luck, Jack. It's Troy! <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. You wrote that song right in short pages, say? Uh-huh. And the entire show? Uh-huh. Wow, how long did that take you? Uh-huh. About two years. I get up every day before school at five and I'm still working on the finales. Wow, that's awesome. You're really dedicated. So, so, so why are you afraid of short pay? I, I mean, it is your show, right? It is. Hello. Thank you. Isn't the author of a musical like, like the playmaker in basketball? Playmaker? The one who makes everyone else look good. That way there's no show. You're the playmaker here, Kelsey. I am? You want to hear the way that song's supposed to sound? Wow, that's very nice. It starts out quiet. Go ahead, you first. It's hard to believe that I couldn't see. Nice, keep going. But you were always there beside me. Now you. Thought I was alone with no one to hold. Now together. But you were always there beside me. This feeling's like no other. Martha, 
Pretty wild, huh? I can't believe how crazy you got downstairs just because we got called back. And this is much better, right? Much better. So, this is your private hideout? Yeah, uh, thanks to the horticulture club, my buddies don't even know about it. Looks to me like everyone on campus wants to be your friend. Yeah, unless we lose. Must be tricky being the coach's son. He's gonna freak when he hears about the whole singing thing. You're worried? My parents' friends are always saying, your son's the basketball guy. You must be so proud. But sometimes, I don't want to be just the basketball guy. I want to be, you know, me. I saw how you treated Kelsey at the auditions yesterday. Do your friends know that part of you? Are you kidding? To them, I'm just the playmaker dude. Then they don't know enough about you, Troy. Playmaker. That's such an odd phrase. How about Pythagorean theorem? Now that's pretty whack. Um, uh, <laughs> I think you mean Pythagorean. Right. Totally whack. At my other schools, I was the freaky math girl. That's all they thought I was. Always pointing at me, whispering behind my back. They made me feel like I was a freak, and I hated it. That's kind of why I want to keep a low profile here, you know? So I could just be me. But, but you can't let people stop you from doing what you want to do. I mean, you are what you do, right? That's easy for you to say. You're the big basketball star. You love the spotlight. I'm a lot happier curling up with a good book. Hiding? No. Maybe. Well, maybe. I don't know. Remember in kindergarten, you meet a kid. You know nothing about them. 
Then 10 seconds later, you were best friends because you didn't have to be anything but yourself. Yeah. Singing with you felt like that. Like, sing, you know? I never really thought about singing, that's for sure. But when I look at you, it's like anything is possible. So, you really want to do the callbacks? Um... That's cool. I mean, I guess I don't want to either. No, no, I'm in. Really? Hey, just call me Freaky Callback Boy. You're a cool guy, Troy, but not for the reasons your friends think. You never know what you're gonna feel. You never see it coming, suddenly it's real. Oh, it never even crossed my mind. That I could ever, ever hope to find someone like you Oh, oh, oh. things change when you don't expect them to Whoa. No one knows what the future's done I never even noticed that you've been there all along I can't take my eyes off of you You might find all I see is you and I. You're everything I never knew that I've been looking for. I can't take my eyes off of you. I know you feel the same way too. I can't take my eyes off of you. All it took was one look for the dream come true. I can't. Gonna feel. You never see it coming, suddenly it's real. Thanks for showing me your top secret hiding place, just like kindergarten. You're your best friend. Now that Troy's gonna be in your show, I... Troy Bolton is not in my show. Okay. Well, did you like the cake I made for you? No, it didn't match my pants. Oh, <laughs> that was very funny. Well, anyways, I was thinking maybe you'd like to come see me play ball sometime. I'd rather suck the mucus. From a dog's nostrils till his skull caves in! Oh! That doesn't sound very appetizing. Would you prefer a nice creme brulee? Maybe some tartufo? Dear Masu! Dear Masu, why did I say Dear Masu? Save Troy and Gabriella from themselves. So what you're saying is that individual must be sacrificed for the good of the whole. That's so very Karl Marx. 
Works for me. We'll get Troy in the locker room. You guys nab Gabriella in the lab at exactly 1,600 hours. Whatever, just work him and tell him Troy me. Bolton is my best friend. I know how to push all of his buttons. And remember, the line of communication is crucial to the successful development of this covert operation. I didn't know you could say that many syllables together in one sentence. I'm impressed. Thanks. I've been working on it all night. My watch says 1,300 hours Mountain Standard Time. Are we synchronized? Save it for Charlie's Angels, Chad. Au revoir, mon mommy. I love it when you speak German. Danke schön. in study hall. The jocks already rule most of the school, but if they get Troy into the musical, then they've conquered the entire student body. And if the brainy ass get Gabriella hooked up with Troy Bolton, the science club goes from drool to cool, then Troy will be hers forever. Ryan, we need to save our show from people who don't know the difference between a Tony Award and Tony Soprano. But how? Darvis. I have a plan. Lucy! I tell Darvis that Troy and his dad wanted to sabotage our auditions because she gave him detention. She'll never believe that. <laughs> She'll believe anything I tell her because I'm president of the drama club. Yeah, but the president isn't supposed to lie, Sharpay. <gasps> oh, yeah. And the vice president is supposed to smile, zip it, and do what I tell him. All right? Now come on!
What was that all about? Oh, you want to tell me something, Bolton? Something about singing? Uh, no, uh, no, it's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing. Oh, yeah, it's nothing. Dr. Stranger, shoot my head off because she thinks you're plotting something. I was just helping someone audition, that's all, it's nothing. You bet it's nothing. In case you've forgotten, the biggest game of your life is coming up in two days. Get your head in the game for real, Bolton. Your team is depending on you. I was gonna stay and work on my game. Since you were late for practice, again, that's the least you can do. Wow, so this is your real stage. Yeah, I guess you can call it that, or just a smelly old gym. Whoa, don't tell me you're good at hoops too. Yeah, I once scored 41 points in a league championship game. No way. Yeah, and the same day, I invented the PlayStation oh, and the iPod. I've been rehearsing with Kelsey. Yeah, I know, me too. And I was late again to practice, so if I get kicked off the team, it's on your conscience. Hey, I'm- Gabriella <laughs> Chiv. I'm sorry, miss. This is a closed practice. Dad, practice is over. Not until the last player leaves the gym, Bolton. Team rules. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, Dad, this is Gabriella Montez. Oh, your detention buddy? Um, Gabriella, Taylor needs you up in the lab right away. Hey, Papa Ray! I'll see you later, Troy. Nice to meet you, Coach Bolton. Goodbye. Dad, the tension was my fault, not hers. You haven't missed practice for three years, and that girl turns up, and you're late twice. That girl is named Gabriella, and she's very nice. This helping you miss practice doesn't make her very nice. Not in my book, or your team's. She's not a problem, she's just a girl. But you're not just a guy, Troy. You're a team captain. What you do affects not only this team, but the entire school. Without you completely focused, we won't win the game on Friday. And championship games don't come along every day. There's something special. A lot of things are special. If you blow this chance, you'll regret it the rest of your life. You mean like you? You're a playmaker, Bolton, not a singer. Did you ever think that maybe I could be both? And my name is Troy Dad, not Bolton. won championship games and worried about some brainiac chick or I sing for musicals? Do you think these paradigms of education and accomplishment concern themselves with jobs or auditioning for musicals? I don't think so! My dad. That's Troy. Heartbreak Bolton missed the last basket in the 1981 championship game. Do it for him, Troy. Give him a championship you always dreamed of. Heartbreak Bolton, another lost cause, bonehead, basketball is your honest job. But you, you're the future of civilization. You're next in the line. You're part of the chair.
besides, why do we always have to do what you said? Oh, maybe because I know what I'm doing. Just do what I tell you. Understand? I'm not taking any chances. That role is mine. I was born to play it. Uh, someone in this room ought to chill out, sister. And it ain't me. We'll get the roles we want. We always do. I'm not I'm just talking about my role in the play, Ryan. I'm talking about my role in, like, the school. I'm not a jock. I'm not a brainiac. But you know what? I'm the star. I'm the star. That's my role. And if they take that away from me, then, then who am I? Well, you could just be Sharpay. That's not so bad, is it? Oh, are you brain dead? No one's going to like me if I'm just Sharpay. But on stage, on stage, I can be Juliet. I can be Annie Oakley. I can be anyone I want to be. Not just dumb old Sharpay. I need something to make me fabulous. Ryan, I mean, come on, they, they named me after a flabby dog. Sharpay, we've had the lead every year since birth. If we get it again, great. If not, we'll still be fabulous. Besides, it could be worse. They could have named you Pug, or Shih Tzu, or... <laughs> but Troy, Troy and that thing, I... Look, maybe Troy would like you more if you were just yourself for once. Oh, pardon me, Dr. Phil, but what do you know? You're just a kid. I'm only eight minutes younger than you. Yeah, well, those are eight important minutes. Okay, well, you know what? I'm tired of hearing this from you again. Sorry, I didn't know you guys were in here. Hi, Troy. Did you come to ask if I'd switch partners and audition with you? The answer is yes. Ryan, you're fired. Sure, okay. No, have you guys seen Gabriella? I really gotta talk to her. Who? All right, forget it. Hey, last time I saw her, she was in the theater, like, about 10 minutes ago. Thanks, Ryan. You're all right. How could you stab me in the back like that? Helping the enemy? I stabbed you in the back? Oh, well, at least you admit it! Now take it from the top. And lose the jazz squares. You have to listen to me. What you heard yesterday, none of that's true. I didn't mean any of it. You sounded pretty convincing to me. Well, then you didn't hear the whole thing. I was sick of my friends writing me about singing with you, so I said things I knew would shut them up. The guy I met on vacation is way more than the guy who said those stupid things. Troy, the whole singing thing is making us crazy. You said so yourself. Everyone is treating you different because of it. Maybe that's because I don't want to be just the basketball guy anymore. Gabriella, when I look into your eyes, it's like anything is possible, because you look at me without putting, like, all these limits, you know? But your dad... This isn't about my dad. This is about me. And how I feel. And I didn't let the team down. They let me down. I'm going to sing. What about you? I don't know, Troy. It feels so right to be here with you And now looking in your eyes I feel in my heart The start of something new Live. 
living in my own world didn't understand that anything can happen when you take the chance I never believed in what I couldn't see I never opened my heart to all the possibilities Oh, I know that something has changed Never felt this way I know it for real that this could be the start of something new It feels so right to be here with you oh. to talk to our friends. Yeah, we're gonna have to tell them that we're going to do callbacks after all. Well, let's move it already. Come on, we're burning daily. about what we did. Me too, I think. What are we gonna do now? Sorry. Guys, we have something we need to tell you. No, us first. No, this is important. Troy and I have decided. Oh, what Gabriel is trying to say is that we need to. Second. That's no disgrace. Win or lose, we're still teammates. Even if you turn out to be the worst singer in the world. <laughs> which, which you might be, because we haven't actually heard you sing yet. He's fantastic! They both are! What we did was so wrong. We just want you guys to know that we're going to be there cheering for the both of you. In spirit, anyway. Yeah, Cap. If singing is something you want to do, we should be by your side boosting you up. Dragging you down. It's hard to believe that I couldn't see you were up. <laughs> Good luck with the big game, Troy. Um, sorry about the callbacks, Gabriella. Yeah, so anyway, I think we've made our decision. I'll be there for the team, Taylor. Me too, guys. It's just a musical anyway. Just a musical? You know what he means. We can't be selfish. Not when our friends are depending on us. Right, Troy? Right. But, but you can't! Can. But we can. We'll see you guys later. Come on, Gabriel. Uh, we can't let them do this. Yeah, uh, true deferred and all that. We have to figure out a way for them to do both. Team huddle. Hey, 
You spoke junk. I'm good with foreign languages, remember? Down for the split second! What? A junk's got it off us! He's announcing the game! Are you right? Are you okay? It's impossible! It has to work! It has to! Leave it to me! I can do anything with my laptop! Shooting for the stars. You need to be number one. You've got to break the 
only have like five minutes. What are you talking about? The one I just sing? It's now or now. It's the lights. It was Taylor's idea. Guys, the best. I know. Now hurry, man. Hurry. Exactly what's happening with the lights, and then we will continue the match. Gabriella, what are you still doing here? What do you mean? You don't have much time. My laptop can only hack the school's electrical grid for about five minutes. Hurry. Troy's waiting for you on stage. You did this? Buy me a Coke after you get the lead. Run. <laughs> Just you and me, like kindergarten. Remember, I'll be right here. We're soaring, flying. There's not a star in heaven that we can't reach. If we try You know the world can see us in a way that's different than who we are. Creating space between us to receive us. But your faith that gives me strength, strength to believe.
I'm sorry you didn't get the lead, Sharpay. Join the club! But I thought you were fantastic. You did? I mean, like, really? Like, really, really. So?